E aí pessoal, sejam muito bem-vindos a mais um episódio de Persona 5 Royal. No episódio anterior, nós tivemos o primeiro dia do festival escolar, onde podemos comer takoyaki. Era a única coisa que tinha pra comer, graças a Ren. E também vimos o Aket queimar a boca. O que é sempre bom. Eu sempre apoio o Aket queimando a boca. E temos aqui uma foto para provar, que eu não mostrei no episódio anterior. Quis deixar para esse, para poder mostrar para vocês. É a hora da foto! Isso daqui é da onde a gente estava comendo. Ah, pera, que... Ué, vocês comeram o Yakisobi eu nem vi? Hey! Ah, cara... Até o Yakisoba parece de alta classe quando é a Haruki tá comendo. <risos> Ele provavelmente é um Smith, quer dizer... Ah... Por favor, você está exagerando. Eu acho que foi a primeira vez que eu como um Yakisoba de uma barraca. Isso é o melhor do que eu imaginava. Tava mesmo. Mano, não era comida instantânea, mas ainda assim tava bom. <risos> É, sei lá, cara. Eu não vou muito com a cara dessas comidas assim. Falando nisso, cadê as fotos, hein? Ah, ah? Você tirou mais fotos também, não é? Da gente. E conta aquela lá que você tirou com o Jack comendo yakisoba. Au! Oh! Não, aquela eu mandei direto para o lixo. Eu tive que tirar aquilo porque tinha alga nos meus dentes. <risos> Ah, eu queria ver aquela foto. Mas bem, eu acho que não tem muito o que eu possa fazer. Como não tem muito o que podemos fazer hoje aqui no Leblanc, essa semana vai ser um pouco parada aqui em termos de relações sociais para nós. Só poderíamos ficar aqui em cima, então. O que fazer além de refletir olhando pela janela? Oh, espera, tem uma mesa aqui. Eu poderia usar para fazer ferramentas ou acessar a Shady Commodities. <risos> Bem-vindo ao mundo fascinante da Stalaka Shady Commodities. Eu não lembro qual foi a tradução que eu fiz para isso, mas... Esse site, ele usa text-to-speech para facilitar o entendimento das pessoas. Ah, eu não vou usar isso porque isso implicaria em acertar o timing certinho da fala do text-to-speech. Eu não sou bom nisso, então vamos só esquecer. Faça sua assinatura. Não seja ceticista, não é para ter medo. Ah, isso parece meio assustador, meio suspeito, você não acha? Ah, eu não ligo, vamos nos cadastrar. Você acha mesmo que é uma boa ideia botar o seu nome de verdade num site como esse? Tá tudo bem, Mona, qual é? É mais perigoso botar Joker do que o meu próprio nome. Quem sabe quem é Jack? Em breve todo mundo vai saber quem é Joker. E... Bem-vindo. Aqui é a Shady Commodities do Tanaka. Sr. Turner. Você abriu a porta de, para possibilidades incríveis que uma pessoa normal não pode ter. Legal. Agora, você pode encontrar vários itens raros aqui. Qualquer um que você quiser. Tá legal, não são esses os itens que eu quero, Tanaka. Mas eu vou fazer a boa aqui. Caramba, cara. 6 mil ien por cada magatama dessas. Ah, o Tanaka tá passando a mão. Mas não é tão que ele é rico, então... Vamos fazer aqui... Um agradinho pra ele pegar um desses magat uns desses magatamos aqui. E acho que tá bom. Eu não quero mais do que isso. São 18 mil ien já. Só nisso. Caramba. Uh, Boas notícias, Turner. Por que você gastou mais de 10 mil ien? Você agora é um membro do rank preto. O que significa que pode comprar mais coisas do rank preto agora. Seu pedido vai chegar em breve. Entendemos que está animado, mas você precisa ser paciente. Esperamos vê-lo de novo. Yay! Valeu, Tsanaka. <risos> pra quem não tá muito familiarizado, ele é um personagem bem recorrente na franquia Persona em si. Ele começou a aparecer desde Persona 3 e... Sei lá, é um tipo de alívio cômico pra mim. Talvez não seja mesmo pra outras pessoas, mas... É. Ele também não costumava ser o dono de um site meio suspeito. <risos> Só pra constar. Mas, ok. Vamos fazer isso. Me mostra seu espírito de luta de É! Ah, é? Você comprou algumas proteínas, não é? Você tá preparado mesmo? Caramba! É, eu vim preparado! Na verdade, essas proteínas eram pro cara lá em kit de hoje, mas eu vou acabar usando. Vamos usar a proteína importada. Porque eu posso. Eu tenho dinheiro. É! Vamos tomá-la. Esse efeito sonoro do Joker é a melhor coisa de todas que você pode ouvir em Persona 5. Uh! Uh! Caramba, cara, que força é essa? E quando eu digo que força é essa, eu me refiro ao suporte do telhado Porque, caramba, aguentar uma pessoa assim, num troço que tá caindo aos pedaços dessa casa 
Tá de parabéns, hoje Você manteve a manutenção da casa em bom estado. Yeah! Com isso, aumentamos o nosso HP máximo em 5. E graças ao shake de proteína que nós tomamos, aumentamos mais um pouco também para 4. Aumentando no total de... 17 de HP. É. O que vocês estão falando? Minha profissão não é contar, é ler. The Phantom Thieves are dangerous, yet he says they haven't committed any murders. Either he has an idea who the true culprit is, or he has uncovered the identities of the Phantom Thieves. Come on, Makoto. You gotta get it out of him. As much as you're allowed to say, would you tell us how far along your investigation is on them? Getting right to the point, I see. Well, if it's as much as I'm allowed to say, then everything on TV and the internet is all of it. We don't have any leads yet, and the methods behind their crimes are still unclear. I see. Even with this country's power, arresting them is proving to be difficult. Is that the case? I wouldn't phrase it that way, but, well, something like that. Thank you for answering that question. By the way, it seems you've denied a correlation between the Phantom Thieves and the murders. Why the sudden change? Until now, haven't you upheld your stance that the Phantom Thieves are dangerous? How are you so positive that they haven't committed murder? Are you a little too comfortable interrogating people? Why it says if you're a prosecutor? been interested in so I couldn't help it but won't you tell us what reason is there that you'd claim their innocence when you previously stated they were unjust Mako-chan's really pressing for an answer she's pelting him with questions every person whose heart they changed have truly been criminals including Okumura why then was he the only one who needed to be killed? Why is that? I must admit, I couldn't deduce a reason. That's why I believe that, that case should be thought of as if a different party is responsible. And if, this is all hypothetical, mind you. If the Phantom Thieves are the ones I know of, I can't possibly imagine they would kill anyone. Your comment just now. Does this mean the police have already identified who they are? Oh, no. The police haven't gotten that far yet. But I have my own conclusions about the true identities of the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be bluffing. Pipe down. He's lying, right? But if it's the truth... You're not going to ask me who they are? It may have repercussions on the investigation. Are you sure you can share that with us? It's only my personal opinion, so announcing that here wouldn't pose a problem. However, there is a possibility that everyone present will hear the truth before the police or media. The truth? What's he planning on saying? That's quite the confidence you have. If you're so certain, then very well. I'd like to ask you then. Who do you think the Phantom Thieves are, Akechi-san? That idiot! No. 
There's no way he could have any evidence. They're people you all know quite well. The identity of the Phantom Thieves are... Ah, oh, it's mine. I apologize for the interruption, but I can't turn off my phone due to my job. Would you mind if I step away for about ten minutes or so? I'm terribly sorry, everyone, but we'll be taking a break. We'll resume the panel in ten minutes. Please don't troll me online for this interruption, okay? Is there a room I may use? There's the PE faculty office. I want you to come too. There's a matter I want to discuss. Your friends from yesterday are here, aren't they? Can you bring them too, if that's all right? Did you set this up? We only have 10 minutes, you know. What do you want to talk about? No! That's gotta be shopped! I have video footage too. Please, let's not feign ignorance. All of you can go to that other world too, yes? As I just said, I know everything. I also know that when you traverse over there, your appearance changes as well. It's because of those mysterious powers, isn't it? I found out about that world about a month ago. This had been installed onto my phone without my knowledge. Dude, it's the NAV. When the app activated on its own, the scenery around me suddenly changed. Quite frankly, I still can't believe it myself. But from the look of these photos, all of you seem quite used to it. We've been listening to you blab on for a while now, but cut the delusional... All of you are acting as phantom thieves in the metaverse. I can say so with conviction because I have the same power as you. So you admit it then. In all honesty, I've been curious about you since the time of the Matarame case. But to think it would end up like this. We didn't kill anyone! I believe that as well. How can you be so sure? Because I saw another. The real culprit. For real? Who was it? I couldn't identify his face. He had a mask on, after all. Actually, when I took these photos, I entered that world, too. That's when I saw someone else moving about, besides all of you. He shot at me the moment he noticed me. That's who killed President Okumura? Most likely. At the very least, I was almost killed by him. I can't die here. I need to determine the truth. When those thoughts overcame me, I awakened to that power. A most fortunate accident. This guy has a persona too? This cat. I swear, it just... talked. Morgana, our teammate who taught us about the metaverse. Really? This is unbelievable. But it is true that you know things that I don't. Say, Morgana. Were you also the one who instructed them on how to change people's hearts? I experienced that world too. But I still haven't solved that mystery yet. We go in the metaverse, we call them palaces, to steal the core of their desires, their treasure. And those whose treasure has been stolen have a change of heart. Ah. <laughs> There's certainly no way anyone could figure out such an M.O. Anyways, back to what you were talking about. Are we in this mess because of that guy? Although I don't completely understand the method, all you do is simply reform people. Someone else is behind the murders. However, the police have decided that the Phantom Thieves did it. They'll arrest you at this rate. They're going to treat me as my father's murderer? I can't overlook such a grave mistake, which is precisely why I want us to strike a deal. I may be able to save you from this situation. A deal? I would like you to cooperate with me on investigating the truth. And if we decline? Then I think I'll have to inform the police about all of you. 
along with that video I mentioned. This ain't no deal, it's blackmail! Say what you will. This is the method that I believe is correct. The justice I uphold will not tolerate criminals who kill people at their leisure. Justice. You've heard that Sai-san is the one spearheading the investigation about you phantom thieves, correct? The higher-ups are concerned only with settling the case. They want to capture the culprits behind the psychotic breakdown incidents and end the commotion. Those are the ones who are putting pressure on Sai-san. I can only imagine her impatience. What of evidence that we did it? How do they intend on proving it? Even if there's no objective explanation to the method, it's over once causality is established. Sai-san can't make rational judgments at the moment. If she were to be cornered, well, she may even make up a confession. Make it up? So, they're gonna make it all our fault? Just cause they feel like it? We haven't killed anyone though! And we're still going to be arrested? You'll be found guilty if you're caught. And it will be treated as a very serious crime. Bullshit! None of that makes any sense! Unfortunately, there's nothing I can do alone anymore to stop the flow of things. And that's why you want our cooperation. Yes. In return, I'll turn a blind eye to what you've done. Those are my conditions. That said, I ask that you disband the Phantom Thieves after this. What should we do about Akechi-san's proposal? I can understand how you feel. It must be hard making a decision on the spot like this. Well, you don't have to decide at the moment. Considering this is you we're talking about, I believe you'll come to a favorable reply. I'm glad we could talk. It's been a while since I've been able to spend such a meaningful time like this. I look forward to your answer. It was definitely worth coming today. For various reasons. We should be getting back about that. I'm sorry. Would it be acceptable if we ended the panel here? The reason why you called for me in the first place was because you wanted intel, correct? My business is concluded as well. I'll deal with it somehow. Damn it! He had complete control over us! Hey, they're going! Makoto's suggestion against us. Indeed. We intended to get intel out of him, but to think it would play out like this. So what? We'll just accept his deal? He's got evidence on us. We really don't have a choice. Damn it! What are we gonna do? Calm down, Ryuji. How am I supposed to calm down? What are we gonna do? What's done is done. We'll have to cool our heads and think more on this. We must make up our minds by the time he contacts us again. We need to give this a lot of thought. Similar occurrences followed in succession earlier this spring. Although things have quieted down until recently, several incidents have occurred once again. Furthermore, new information has come to light about the suspect who suffered sudden mental shutdown. He had received a calling card from the Phantom Thieves. Why did Futaba have something like this? If a calling card was delivered, we can only assume that the Phantom Thieves are behind it. 
If so, those occurrences back in spring can be attributed to them as well. Moreover... I knew it. She's... Oh, God. The post-festival party is about to begin in the gymnasium. Please join us, everybody. Post-festival party? I thought this thing was over. Eh, nobody invited you to it, so let's just go home. Huh? Senpai, aren't you going to the post-festival party? Since we've run into each other on our own, why not go together? People say these kinds of events should be enjoyed with others, so let's go have some fun. <laughs> it seems like it's already begun. Let's get in there, senpai! And now, it's time for your favorite shooting tradition! The student sharing special! <sighs> but, before that, we've decided to change things up this year. We've got a huge surprise for you all! Members of the dance club, come on down! While everyone dances is embarrassing. Senpai, let's do it! Senpai. And now that you're all warmed up, let's switch up the music! Hey, you're Yoshizawa-san, right? The first year? We've got a little favor to ask you. Something. Just wait here and watch what happens. Who's that? Huh?
was so exhausting, but what a blast! I feel like I danced my heart out back there. Oh, thank you! Wow! That dance was amazing! I know, right? I was totally blown away! <laughs> It's my dad. He's telling me to come home before it gets too late. Sorry to leave you like this, but I have to get going. Thank you. I'll be alright, though. The post-festival party was so much fun. Especially with you. See you soon! uma mensagem você tem planos para depois daqui? todas as garotas estão me bombardeando de perguntas sobre o raquete eu não sei nem como respondê-las ah, eu já sei, por que não vamos à festa depois do festival? oh, parece que eu recebi algumas mensagens Oi. a festa depois do festival está prestes a começar por que não vamos juntos? Uh oh oh eu estava pensando sobre o que aconteceu mais cedo, mas não me levou a lugar algum. Então, que tal mudarmos o ritmo? Parece que eu recebi mais mensagens. Oh, shit. Uh, você ainda está na escola? Eu queria saber se você queria aceitar minha oferta de... Enfim, irmos pra festa depois do festival juntos? Eu não quero ir sozinha. Ai, meu Deus. Tem mais... Daqui a Kami? Você está indo pra festa depois do festival? Eu... Ainda vou continuar na escola para trabalhar, mas... Ah, não. Mais mensagem. Oh. É do Ryuji agora. Ei! Você quer ir pra festa depois do festival pra tentar se acalmar e relaxar um pouco? Não dá nem pra pensar sobre o que a Cash falou aquela hora de qualquer jeito, então... Sei lá, eu... Eu tô meio frustrado. Vem. Mexeu tá aqui comigo, então. Vem se juntar a gente. Ai, caramba. Quem eu vou escolher? Tá legal. É o seguinte, gente. Eu sei que muitos aqui tem várias favoritas e tudo mais. Eu sei que vocês já imaginam quem eu vou chamar. Mas a Haru, contando que ela tem pouco tempo de tela e tudo mais. Eu acho que ela merece, coitadinha. Ela já passou por tanta coisa também que... Queremos ficar mais tempo possível com ela. Principalmente por causa da parada do tempo de tela. Mas é porque ela... Coitada, esse é o arco dela. É o final do arco dela. I'm sorry. I can't stop thinking about what Akechi-kun said. <laughs> it feels like nothing bad could ever happen when you say that. And now it's time for your favorite shujin tradition, the student sharing special! Round of applause, everyone! Sharing? I never knew we had such an event. Going to choose? I wonder who it would be. How about that fluffy haired girl over there? I choose you. Huh? Is he looking this way? Well then, come on up. He's talking to me, isn't he? So it really is me. Come, come! I'm going. And your name is? Wait, you're a Kumara son? Um, yes. She's a Kumara son. I'm sure you're, um, still grieving. My, um, deepest apologies. 
Oh, please don't worry. So, uh, do you have anything you'd like to share with us? Something to share. I have too many things. Uh, here, let me give you a question then. Do you think the Phantom Thieves are really Shujin students? Yeah. I mean, they are, uh, your father's killers. We're all dying to know what Akechi-kun was going to say about their true identities. So, are they from Shujin? What do you think, Okumura-san? party, huh? I still can't believe you said that. Huh? Right. At any rate, I'm not sure what I would have done without you. Thank you for saving me. You're a mysterious person, but you're so reliable. I think the two of us will get along quite well in the future. <laughs> As they say, who knows what may lie ahead. For now, I'm worried about what happened with Akechi-kun. But I have to say, my first post-festival party was quite fun. Though, I guess it's my last, too. Here, I'd like you to have this. I... bought it earlier. <laughs> now then, let's go home. Welcome home. You took off somewhere during the festival, huh? I tried to find you, but I gave up pretty quickly. Taba? What are you doing here in front of the store? I needed to calm my brain. My thoughts were getting out of hand. Not just a catchy, but other stuff too. We're in deep trouble unless we can do something soon. But anyway, I was just thinking about going inside, so your timing is perfect. Let's go! The mass media has been causing quite a commotion lately. No countermeasure for the Phantom Thieves, the sorry state of the police, destruction of safety. They're saying whatever they want. So, how's the investigation progressing? Any clues yet? Nothing that leads to a firm conviction yet. What's going on here? Didn't you say that you were sure about closing this case? And I thought I told you that failure won't be tolerated. <laughs> well, 
this is troublesome. If things continue at this rate, never mind a promotion. We'd have to let you go entirely. But, sir... I had high expectations for you. But it seems this task was too much to handle for someone so young. We may need to reform the operation as well, since the selected personnel for this... Please, let me see this through to the end. This case is something that I've always... I know that you've been at this for a while now. Even before the police spared us the staff for it. If you can manage an arrest, I've made special arrangements so that you can question them personally. That's what you want, isn't it? The leadership of this country is about to change. We can't let this case carry over into their term. I'll make myself clear again. Failure isn't an option. We need results. I understand. You're allowed to take some bold measures if you need to. We need good results, no matter what. Oh. One more thing. If the unexpected happens to occur, contact me immediately. To you, sir? I said that failure isn't an option, didn't I? Yes. Everything is proceeding as planned. <laughs> Sojiro? I was cleaning up and found this. <gasps> this is a calling card, right? I read about it online, too. Y you went into my room without my permission? I'll apologize as much as you want later. So, what is this? That's... Is it something to get flustered over? I knew it. This isn't just some game you're playing. Why aren't you saying anything? Why did you keep it? I mean, it was memorable. Explain. Explain. Can't tell me? Explain. Hey, if this keeps up, Futaba's... I'm talking to Futaba here, you know. I'll get right to the point. Is this a real one? Did they trigger a change of heart in you? <laughs> How about it? Ever since Mom died, I... There was n no exit. I was trapped in, in a labyrinth of... My heart! I knew I had to leave it, but I, I couldn't do it by myself! Futaba... Here, sit down. I can at least listen to what you have to say. The Phantom Thieves saved me. They stole my messed up heart. It's the same as Mom's research. They changed my cognition. Seriously? <sighs> Wakaba's research about altering one's cognition. I wondered about it myself, too, but still. When she said she was going to go to the beach out of nowhere, even the doctors had thrown in the towel. <laughs> At first, I just chalked it up as other kids being a better support for you than any adult. But as I kept watching the tabloid shows here, day in and day out, a thought crossed my mind. I thought your case kind of seemed similar to what these phantom thieves were doing. Wow! I'm still your guardian, you know. I'd never overlook such a drastic change in your behavior. Sojiro. But to think that Wakaba's research and the Phantom Thieves changing hearts were about the same thing. Back in the day, 
I used to be a government official. My job was to be the bridge between the country and the lab that Wakaba worked at. It's around that time that I got to know her. She said something odd when we were out drinking, that one of these days, she might die a bizarre death. Who wouldn't take that as a joke? I just laughed it off. But it happened, exactly as she said. If anything were to happen to you, I'd feel like I let her down. There's something I want to ask you. Judging from your attitude, you knew about this calling card, didn't you? You should have known that Futaba had a change of heart through the Phantom Thieves as well. Is there a connection between you and them? The first incident of a change of heart was a teacher at your school. The kid who brought that painting here was a pupil of that artist who had a change of heart, wasn't he? And then, there's Futaba. You always seem to be linked to these incidents somehow. Got anything to say? So, can I assume that you admit to it? You know what people call them? Criminals. Why did you introduce such dangerous people to Futaba? That's not true! I asked them! That's why he saved me! He stole my heart! Asked? Stole? Uh, um... Wait, are you saying that he's the one who changed your heart? He doesn't just deal with the Phantom Thieves, he's actually one of them? <laughs> You're pulling my leg, aren't you? Are you serious? You really are a phantom thief? Oh, for crying out loud! Sojiro! So, basically, I've been sheltering a phantom thief for the last six months, and on top of that, Futaba's involved, too. What the hell? I... I want to find the culprit who killed my mom. Wait, it killed? She was killed. I... remember it now. Stop this nonsense! Why won't you believe me? Are you the same as everyone else? Didn't you know already? The way mom died wasn't normal! Didn't you notice that her research was stolen by someone? Sojiro! When she passed away, I did think it was odd. It was awfully fishy. But what could I do? All I was able to do was run from it all. Run away, hide, and end up here as some old guy running a cafe. To be frank, I took you in for my own good. Like it'd somehow make up for what I'd done. It's basically my fault that you got burdened with all this crap. It's not your fault, Sojiro. I acted all big, lectured, even yelled at you kids. And I end up getting consoled by her. God, real pathetic, aren't I? Mom's the one at fault. <sighs> I see. Don't worry. Even if you are the real Phantom Thieves, I have no intention of reporting or kicking you out. <laughs> I mean, who would believe such a story? <laughs> Unless they catch you red-handed, it's impossible to explain that you're the Phantom Thieves. Let me just say one thing, though. Immediately back out of a fight that you can't win. Don't you get it? If by chance you pissed off the same guys that killed Wakaba, then they're not someone that kids like you can deal with. Listen to reason, all right? We're done talking about this. Come on, time to eat. All that yelling's gotten me hungry. Whew. If he turned us in, that would have jeopardized our operation. Still, we should tell the others about what just happened. Ugh, I'm tired. Oh my 
é que é? Ele sabe de tudo? Só pode estar me zoando. Pera aí, você vai ficar bem? Ah, uh, ele denunciou você ou alguma coisa assim? Nós provavelmente não receberíamos essa mensagem se o Jack não estivesse bem. Eu sempre achei que o chefe não era um homem qualquer. Mas ele não recomendou você a se entregar nem nada, né? Eu acho que nesse caso nós podemos considerá-lo um aliado. Eu só estou mais curioso quanto ao que ele disse para você. Está falando de como nossos inimigos podem ser a mesma pessoa que fizeram de alvo a mãe da Futaba? Sim. Ela foi morta por uma parada mental. O mesmo método usado pelo culpado que perseguimos agora. Peraí, você não tinha dito que o chefe tinha fugido de tudo aquilo? Quer dizer que tem alguém tentando parar com as notícias de se espalharem? Quem seria essa pessoa? Quem você acha que o culpado pode ser? Ah, um, Eu não sei, mas se tá mexendo com a mídia... Provavelmente alguém bem poderoso, é? Você não tá deixando a sua imaginação voar solta, não? Uh, não. Mas isso faz sentido. Valeu, Yusuke. Peraí, você tá me dizendo que... Então a polícia tá trabalhando com eles também? Isso seria impossível. Isso tá ficando grande demais até pra eu sequer pensar sobre. Nós podemos mesmo vencer isso. We're gonna win, no matter what. É assim que se fala, Futaba. Eu acho que o chefe sempre teve um pressentimento no fim das contas. É, você tem razão, Mona. Ele parecia sempre um pouco suspeito das coisas. Eu não sei o que era no olhar dele, mas ele era um homem bem... Precavido, digamos assim. E o que, que a Futaba tá fazendo bem ali atrás? Futaba! A, aqui não é o seu quarto. Desculpa te informar isso, mas... É tudo culpa minha. Tudo que aconteceu foi porque 